oh my god i i just couldn't understand what he was saying that's all what i remember after that i don't remember anything what happened there frozen completely frozen blank black i couldn't understand what i was saying i will perfect english then i will speak it is the other way around sabse pehle aapko bolna padega grammar is not the problem the problem is something else yes problem is something else grammar is not the problem and the problem is नमस्ते दोस्तों हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स मेरा नाम है डॉक्टर संदीप बादल और आज मैं आपको बताने वाला हूँ कि कैसे मैंने अपनी फ्लुएंसी इम्प्रूव की लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग आई एम नॉट फ्रॉम एनी इंग्लिश मीडियम और कॉन्वेंट मीडियम स्कूल मैं खुद इंग्लिश से डरता था जहाँ भी अगर इंग्लिश बोला जाए वही वहाँ कभी नहीं जाता था आई नेवर यूज टू गो आई यूज टू अवॉइड दैट लेकिन टूडे आई एम टूडे अ ट्रेनर आई ट्रेन फॉर इंग्लिश कम्युनिकेशन एंड कॉन्फिडेंस बट वन मोर थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू एक बात आपसे बोलना चाहता हूँ मेरा टॉक इंग्लिश में रहेगा ज़्यादातर पर्पजली क्यों क्योंकि मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अगर आपको इंग्लिश सीखनी है तो इंग्लिश का ज़्यादा यूज़ करो हिंदी में अगर मैं बोलूँगा तो आपको समझ में आएगा लेकिन मैं अगर इंग्लिश में बोलूँगा तो आपकी इंग्लिश में इम्प्रूव होगी क्योंकि इंग्लिश इम्प्रूव होती है सुनने से ना कि ग्रामर रखने से आई एम फ्रॉम अ मराठी मीडियम स्कूल एंड आई एम फ्रॉम अ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल एक्चुअली and in my school english was like like alien i mean we never were close to english it was way ahead i mean we were never close to any english medium school of course the area from which i come from is marathi medium and english schools when they were not at all in existence i never spoke to anyone this is about english actually i never spoke in english till i finished my engineering well if that was not enough i remember i went into engineering now now in engineering the first day i remember our chairman came and greeted us and it was a keynote talk it was in english oh my god i i just couldn't understand what he was saying every everyone was there i felt like i mean even only only i'm not able to understand everyone was enjoying but i couldn't understand what he was saying i was very nervous and i decided that i'm going to leave engineering because this is not my cup of tea enough now but the good news was this was the only talk which was in english and after that for the next 5 years yeah 5 years i know engineering is for 4 years but i failed in one year all the 5 years it was only in marathi it was a relief for me now in engineering we have placements and group discussions and presentations and i was very weak in that i mean i used to get so nervous that i remember i used to take holidays when there was any gd or when there was any presentation or anything i remember one incident there was one gd and it was it was just declared instantly extemporaneous i couldn't understand why we are taking a gd and i remembered i i went for the gd and i was blank and black frozen completely couldn't speak a single word i remember two students two of my colleagues laughed at me and that was enough i said i will never come again here i will never be able to do that but i couldn't avoid all this finally i had to give a presentation during my engineering final year project presentation i said to my guide that guy sir can i can i sit and just explain you one to one he said no you have to go on this stage and explain in front of the class no other option it was a final presentation i had to go i told my project the partner that hey you know you give the presentation 80% i'll give 20% he said no sir i saw 50 50 horrible condition i went on the stage that's all what i remember after that i don't remember anything what happened there frozen completely frozen blank black i couldn't understand what i was saying i came back and i sat with my friend and he said sandeep what happened i said what he said he didn't speak at all it was only hardly 36 30 60 seconds he spoke that was really a dark day of my life i will never forget that everyone was shocked my teachers were also shocked and i got 11 marks out of 25 it was just on the edge i cleared now finally i completed my engineering then the most important thing get a job get a placement and for placement communication skills group discussions are very important i couldn't get one i couldn't get any job 
So finally it is said that if you don't get a job, be a teacher. So I decided to try to be a teacher, engineering teacher. And I remember I went to, into a diploma college, polytechnic college, and I asked for a job. That principal looked at me from top to down, again from down to top. And he said that, sorry, we don't have a job for you. You can go. That also gone. And now what to do? I had no job. Finally, or we can say luckily, I got one job in engineering college because there was no one else. So they hired me. I started the job. But then I decided that no, I want to build my communication skills if I want to survive, my fluency, my confidence. I did that. I joined some courses. And what they were doing was grammar, grammar, and more grammar, nothing else. I studied grammar for six months, nearly eight months, but I, I couldn't get any results. I decided now I'm going to do and see what exactly is the problem. What is my problem? Why I'm not able to improve? Friends, I can definitely tell you that grammar was not the problem with me. The problem was something else. After 20 years of study, research, experiments, trial and errors and failures, I realized grammar is not the problem. The problem is something else. Yes, problem is something else. Grammar is not the problem. And the problem is the mindset. Our mindset is a problem, dear friends. We don't have the right mindset and our psychology is weak. We don't know about this. Friends, 80% is your psychology that really matters and 20% is habits. Now, in psychology, what happens here? First and most important thing is we are screwed up actually by birth. We are irrational thinkers. We cannot think rationally. We cannot think logically because we are, we are designed for that since millions of years ago. We have been wired for that. But we don't know that we can't think rationally, we can't think logically. And that is what we do when we come to learn English, speak English fluently. It's all psychological. First factor, I'll tell you. What is the first factor? Listen carefully, you're see, very interesting it is. Everyone thinks that my English is horrible. Everyone thinks that my English is not good. I remember, I, I, I take interviews of many students. They want to join me. The biggest problem they have is, first thing they say, sir, my English is horrible, it's pathetic. It's, it's so bad. But when I listen to them, I realized that the English is not that bad. In fact, um, some two months before I was taking the interview of a lady from Canada, she was an NRI, and she was speaking so nice, so well, I mean, she was communicating so effectively, and she was having American, sorry, Canadian accent, natural accent it was. And she said that my English is not good. I said, oh, really? Of course, she got the results, but the problem is my English is bad. Now, this does not mean that I'm not saying that your English is good. But if your English is this level, many people say it is this level. It's so bad. It's horrible. This is the big problem we have. Now, from where it comes, I'll tell you. This is from our childhood. This is connected with low self-esteem. This is connected with low self-image. In our childhood, this is called as nurture. Your psychology is affected by four factors. Nature, nurture, culture, and signature. Nature, genetics. From your parents, you get those genes. It affects your thinking. Nurture, your surrounding, your friends, your teachers, your parents. They affect your thinking process, your thought process. Culture, every culture is different. In India, we have different cultures. Foreign culture is different. Indian Eastern culture is different. Western culture, it affects. And last is your signature. Signature means your own unique genes which you are. And you can change, you can develop that. But one more thing I want to tell you, you may say that, okay, if it is nature, can we change? Definitely we can change. This is called as neuroplasticity. Our brain is neuroplastic. We can change it, we can. And that's called as epigenetics. Let us come back to the first point. You feel your English is not good. The reason is, go back, nurture. Your teacher said, your grammar teacher specifically said, ha, huh, your English is not good. It's bad. Don't speak, don't write. It's all mistakes. This is what is ingrained in your head and you think your English is pathetic and horrible. First, let us come back. Due to this, the second factor develops. I want to speak perfect English now. Why? Because my teacher told me. And again, let us go back to school. Your grammar teacher has hammered you. Don't do any grammatical mistake. If you do it, you are silly. I have gone through this. I remember my teacher sh displaying, showing that my, my answer should to the entire class. Look at this, Sandeep. Look, all red marks. Look, zero, 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 all mistakes. Oh, and though, he doesn't know how to write. I was humiliated. 
and then all that perfection attitude goes in your head. It's like obsessive compulsive disorder. We get obsessed with perfection. But the reality is this. Even the native speakers, they don't speak perfect English. Perfection is a disease. Excellence is healthy. I repeat again, perfection is a disease. Excellence is healthy. The more you strive for perfection, the more stressed you become and the low confidence you have. Because there is no perfection. Look at my English. Right now I'm speaking. I will never claim that my English is perfect. Remember here one thing, most important thing is if you want to speak, don't try to speak or don't try to master like a piano. Piano is art. We can master that. But while speaking, you have to just express yourself. Focus on the other person. Focus on the person with whom you are speaking. He should understand. Not you. Don't keep on checking and correcting your English. When you acquire this attitude, you forget about perfection and you focus on expression. Second factor, third factor. Again, this is a psychological factor. I want to speak quickly. In 21 days, in two months, in three months, that's all. Why? My interview is there, my GD is there, my promotion is there. Well, this factor comes from the social media, advertisements, everywhere, everyone is claiming that be slim in 21 days, uh, be fair in five days, uh, be stronger in this uh, one month, and all these things are there. And we get bewitched by them, we get affected by them. But the reality is this, to develop any skill, it takes months and years and years. I, I know you, you will not like this. No one wants to hear this, that it will take months and years. But the reality is this, it takes months and even years. You have to give up this quick fix solution attitude if you want to communicate effectively. It takes time. You have to give time. Next point, last very important point. We have result oriented approach, then process oriented approach. What it means, we are only focused on result, result, result. I want, every day we are checking our fluency, every day we are asking our friends, our, our parents, oh, how is my English, is it improving? This is result oriented approach and those who focus on result, they will quit because a stage will come in your life when you're developing your English, plateau syndrome, it is called plateau. You reach a plateau, see your English improves like this and it reaches a plateau, a flat area where you will not see much improvement. Improvement will not be there, but this does not mean you are not improving, you are improving but you don't realize, you don't feel, but you are improving. Most of the people quit that. Because, oh, I can't see improvement. Why? Their focus is only on results. They don't see anything else, only results. And therefore, they quit. Dear friends, communication, fluency is a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey and not a destination. I remember one good song, Safar Khub Surat Hai Manzil Se Bhi. Yeh Safar Jo Hai Na, Bhoot Khub Surat Hai. Manzil, manzil ko bhool jao aur focus karo sirf safar pe. What I want to say, the developing of habit, which I'll tell you last point now, is very important. If you focus on habits, your English will develop. Lekin hum log ye nahi kar rahe, we are not doing that. Hum log sirf focus kar rahe, results, results or results pe. Last point, bahut important, your habits. Pehle mene bola psychology, dusra mene bola ये चार पॉइंट साइकोलॉजी के दूसरा योर हैबिट्स आपके हैबिट्स बहुत जरूरी है इफ योर हैबिट्स आर नॉट गुड आप नहीं बोल सकेंगे यू कांट यू कांट स्पीक व्हाई सी नॉन नेटिव स्पीकर्स हु आर फ्लुएंट नॉन नेटिव मींस व्हाट दोस हु आर नॉट बोर्न इन इंग्लिश कंट्रीज बट दे आर गुड इन इंग्लिश दे हैव इंग्लिश हैबिट्स दीस आर यूनिक हैबिट्स व्हिच दे हैव दे हैव डेवलप्ड नेचुरली इन देम दीस हैबिट्स डेवलप देयर सेंटेंसेस देयर स्ट्रक्चर देयर प्रोनंसिएशन देयर वोकैबुलरी एंड देयर ग्रामर नेचुरली नॉट बाय स्टडीइंग ग्रामर इफ यू कैन एक्वायर दोस हैबिट्स you can also be good in communication and fluency. But the problem is that we are not disciplined. We are not giving habits to our habits. It is said that first you build your habits, then your habits build you. Very important. And last point, the most important thing is confidence. To say confidence is confidence. You must be confident. And confident people are not fluent sometimes. It may be. First is confidence, fluency will follow you. But what people think is, I will perfect English. Then I will speak. It is the other way around. Sabse pehle aapko bolna padega. Fir fluency develop hogi habits se. Jaysa mene bola ki point number two habits. So, agar aap bolna chalo karenge, tab bhi aapka confidence upar jayega. Tab bhi aapka English improvement thoda 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 it will improve, it will keep on improving. But the problem, I know what is the problem is you will say that, but sir, 
we don't have the right surrounding. I'm not saying that you don't have the right surrounding, you don't have the right people. Surrounding is that you have to find the right person who can speak in English with you. If you can find the right person, a supportive person, a positive person, and a person who doesn't find faults in your English, who doesn't laugh at your English, fine, it's well done. You can do that. Dear friends, I'm telling this from my personal experience of 18 to 20 years of teaching, as well as my personal experience of developing my fluencies, it's only a language to express your feelings. It's not any art to be perfected. Think about this. And I want you to all get better jobs, get better opportunities. No one should be deprived of all these things because of communication. You can do that. And I'm sure that my talk will help you in this regard. My best wishes to you all. Thank you. अगर आप भी इस वीडियो के एंड तक आ गए हैं तो मेरी तरह आप भी इंस्पायर जरूर हुए होंगे दोस्तों आपको पता है हम सब बड़े सपने देखते हैं लेकिन हम में से कुछ ही लोग हैं जो अपने सपने को पूरा कर पाते हैं और आपने कभी नोटिस किया जो भी लोग अपने गोल को अचीव कर पाते हैं उनमें एक कॉमन स्किल होती है तो वो क्या है अच्छी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स और इंग्लिश बोलने की स्किल और अब हम भी इस स्किल को मास्टर कर सकते हैं जो स्किल्स है आपके साथ यहाँ पे हमें डेली वो कैबलरी ग्रामर रीडिंग राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस के साथ साथ अपने ही जैसे लाखों स्टूडेंट के साथ इंग्लिश में बात करने का भी मौका मिलता है इससे हम अपनी इंग्लिश की फ्लुएंसी जो है वो इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं तो चलिए आज ही अपने सपने की ओर पहला कदम लेते हैं भारत के नंबर वन स्पोकन इंग्लिश लर्निंग ऐप जोश के साथ